Liquidware is an inaugural partner of Microsoft WVD. Today I want to show you how Liquidware Profile Unity and FlexApp runs with Microsoft WVD and FSLogix technology for a better together desktop. Here I have two desktops. One's an RDSH desktop on WVD and one is a multi-session Windows 10 desktop. We're going to log on to both of these desktops and show you that we're using a pristine base image. The FSLogix profile container is stored in these two areas as outlined above. And then when we run Profile Unity again later in the user space, we'll store a backup copy of the profile container and all the settings that can go between operating system versions. First, we're going to log on to a Windows multi-session WVD desktop. Once we add our credentials, you'll see that this pristine desktop is spun up from a pool of non-persistent base images, making it very easy to deploy. You'll see that our profile container is indeed populated in the folder above, where you'll see a virtual hard disk. Now we're going to open the RDSH desktop. Now that we've opened the RDSH desktop in a similar manner, you'll see that the FSLogix profile container and folder will show up and populate in its corresponding directory. Note that Profile Unity is not yet running in this environment to connect these two disparate desktops running two entirely different operating system versions in Microsoft WVD. And there's no applications in addition to the base image that are in this environment. Let's sign out of these desktops. The profile container will be retained by FSLogix. Now that we've signed out of these desktops, what we're going to do is we're going to add Profile Unity and FlexApp technology to this environment by adding the configuration to the file share that group policies will tap to activate the embedded agent for Profile Unity and FlexApp. Now let's relaunch the multi-session Windows 10 environment, adding our same credentials that we did earlier to this pristine base image, and you'll see that the environment starts to look different. That's because Profile Unity can bring in customized policy actions, context-aware settings, and also FlexApp applications that are attached as a layer to the pristine base image of this desktop. First off, you'll note that the desktop wallpaper has appeared a little bit different because we have that setting. Now we have an application on the desktop. Firefox Mozilla has been added as an attached layer that's dynamically attached to this environment. Let's look under the start menu for this environment. You'll see that when we open up Outlook, that Outlook, because this is a pristine base image, has not yet been customized. This is the first time this user has logged into this environment. So we're going to add a real email account to Outlook. Also, the licensing will be activated for Microsoft Outlook and all of Microsoft Office. We'll check this Remember box. And then these things start to populate not only in the FSLogix profile container, but also when we log off of this, they're backed up to Profile Unity's portability engine, which can go cross operating system environment. You'll see that the FSLogix profile container will begin to do a great job caching the cache of the Outlook system, while at log off, Profile Unity can also back up any granular changes that are in the user profile and allow that FSLogix profile container to go cross-platform OS and to be restored at any time. We're further customizing our environment by adding our credentials, which will be saved in application data settings that are part of the user profile in the FSLogix profile container and also in a very efficient manner in the Profile Unity Portability Engine. You'll see that the cache is coming in and all the users' emails are coming into this environment. 
you'll see that Outlook is indeed licensed to this user. And not only will the FSLogix profile container hold on to this information, but also Profile Unity will create a backup of it that can go across OS and across FSLogix profile containers. When we open up Microsoft Excel, because it's part of Office 365, you'll note that it's also licensed because the user has logged in to Microsoft Office 365. These settings again are retained in the FSLogix profile container from Microsoft and also in the Profile Unity Portability Engine. Now we'll open up the layered application that has been quickly attached to this desktop. Mozilla Firefox runs as if it's a native application, yet it is not installed in the base image. Applications that are layered with FlexApp retain their dynamic capabilities and can even go across operating system versions. We're going to put in the liquidware.com domain. And as we visit that website, we're also going to add a bookmark. This further becomes part of the FSLogix profile container, as well as the portability engine in Profile Unity that, when used better together, can go across operating system versions and platforms, no matter how you deliver Windows. Any other settings that are made in any application will again be saved as part of the user profile. Here we're going to change the home page also to liquidware.com. Now that we've made changes to this environment, we can sign out of this Windows multi-session 10 environment and Profile Unity will create a very efficient compressed version of the profile. It's leveraging this and doing this from the FSLogix profile container which is more or less received as a local profile to that desktop. Now that Profile Unity has compressed the profile, it is saved in a cloud storage area such as Microsoft Azure Blob and can be restored at any time if the local profile, such as FSLogix profile containers, becomes corrupt or if it becomes corrupt through a user error if they've accidentally deleted something. Now we have a Profile Unity store and backup that will automatically be restored if the FSLogix profile container is reset at any time. These are Hive files that are compressed and very efficient and again can be stored to an SMB local drive if you're running on physical desktops but in this case on Azure Blob Storage. Now we're going to log into the RDSH environment RDS running on the WVD infrastructure. As we log on to this desktop, you'll see that cross OS compatibility between FSLogix profile containers is made possible with Profile Unity's portability engine. As the desktop loads, Profile Unity repopulates or changes the delta differentials of the profile to connect the two disparate FSLogix profile containers to be able to go cross OS from a Windows Server 2016 environment coming in from a multi-session Windows 10 environment. You'll see that our desktop wallpaper reset and it is specific in this case to the Microsoft RDSH desktop. You'll also see that the Firefox application followed the user and is an icon on the desktop. It did not need to be repackaged and is not part of the base image applications that are layered are attached at user login. As we open up Microsoft Outlook, you'll see that all the settings, including the cache that are part of the FSLogix profile container and now part of the licensing, so the user didn't have to log in all the credentials again, have been saved across operating system environments with Profile Unity's portability engine. You'll see that the license followed the user between sessions, and now the user does not have to re-authenticate on this new-to-them desktop operating system. Let's open up Microsoft Excel. And again, because this is part of Office 365, which has already been logged onto on the earlier desktop, the credentials and everything, including the licensing, has followed the user because it was part of the Profile Unity portability engine. 
When Profile Unity and FS Logix run together, it is truly a better together environment. Now let's open up Firefox, which has never been opened on this desktop on RDSH in a Windows Server 2016 environment. You'll see that the home page has indeed followed the user and is now set from the previous operating system environment from liquidware.com. This concludes our demonstration of Profile Unity and FlexApp running better together in a Microsoft WVD environment. For more information, visit liquidware.com. Oh.